Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys this new shake preset pack for After Effects. So for these shake effects, you're going to need to go down to the description below and download this preset pack that I have. There's currently a sale right now. So if you want to go ahead and buy that, make sure you go do that. If you want, you can go ahead and download some free shakes from here. Just go ahead and hit the preview so you can use them. You can test them out before you go ahead and buy this pack. But once you've bought this pack and downloaded it, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So what you want to do is find the pack. It's going to be a zip file. So you just want to extract that but yeah once you have the original file you just want to go ahead and right click it hit copy and then we want to go into our local disk and then go to program files go into adobe adobe after effects 2020 and then go into support files and then go into presets and then just right click and then hit paste and then it'll come up with some like destination fuller access denied or something like that but you just want to hit continue and then import them in there as you can see i just imported the free shakes in there but it's the same thing that goes for the uh actual shakes here so we can just copy that do the same thing and paste it but as you can see i already have that installed so i don't really need to do that but once you've done that they're already installed it's that simple so what you most likely need to do is go ahead and just restart your after effects and once it's restarted then the packs will show up here and the animation presets so you just want to open that up and then look for the shake presets right here and inside these folders here you'll see tons of different shake presets that you can use i'm just going to go ahead and apply one of these here you just want to make sure that your cursor is at the start of your clip and then you just want to drag in the shake one and if you apply these shakes and it's just not looking right and it's like off you just want to make sure that the clip is Compose. So to do that, you just want to right click it, hit pre compose, and make sure move all attributes into new composition and just hit OK. And then once you have it pre composed, that's when you want to go ahead and apply the shakes to it. And pre composing will just fix it and the shakes should look good after that. But yeah, when using these shake effects, you want to make sure you have motion blur on. So right here, you just want to toggle these on. And then you want to make sure that this is blue up here. So then when you play that back with the shake effects applied, you get that super clean, super easy. If you hit U on your keyboard on that clip, you can see the keyframes right there. What I'm going to go ahead and do is actually add a shake out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply those. So the shake outs are right here. Once again, we're just going to use the shake out one right here. So let's just apply that to the clip and you're going to want to hit U, and you're going to see the keyframes right here. And what you want to do is make sure that these last two are at the end of your clip here. So just make sure that those align with the end. It's that easy to line them up like that. So when you play it back, you can see that you get that quick little shake out. So on the second clip here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a Y shake. So shake Y is gonna shake the Y axis. So we play this back. You can see the transition actually like transitions into that clip. And you don't have to apply the shake outs. That's just something that you can apply if you want to. But this one, I'm just not gonna add anything. And I'm just gonna add an effect to this next clip here. So once again, make sure the marker is at the start of your clip. And we're gonna apply the shake zoom out. So let's just apply that. And then when we play this back, you can see that zoom out and shake at the same time, which looks super cool. This is like one of my favorite shakes, but there's tons of different ones you can mess with and experiment with. And these don't only just work for 1920 by 1080 projects like this. You can also use them for like Instagram videos or like these like vertical ones right here. Now, once again, like I said earlier, if you go ahead and apply these shakes to your footage and it's like looking off, then you're going to have to go ahead and pre-compose it. But right here, I'm using this original footage. This isn't pre-composed or anything. And if I go ahead and apply a shake here, like shake three, you can see it like looks fine and doesn't look like fully like off or whatever. But if you're having any issues when applying these shakes, you just want to make sure that you go ahead and pre-compose these once again for the vertical. So just hit right click, pre-compose, move all attributes into a new composition and to make sure this is checked on. Hit OK. Let's add like a shake Y and rotate. Let's try that out. That looks super cool. I like how that looks on this clip. Let's go ahead and add a shake out three. Let's just hit U so we can fix these keyframes. Select all those. Drag them to the edge of this clip here. All right, so now it shakes in, shakes out, but we don't have a shake on this other clip here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a shake pump in right here. Now let's see what this looks like. That is super sick. I feel like the shake pump in just works super well with that shake out right there because it's like zooming into the second one. So that looks super clean. So yeah, it's that simple. That's how you use these shakes and After Effects. Once again, the link will be down in the description below. There's going to be a free version with only like a few shake effects. But if you want to go ahead and buy the full version, you'll get all the shakes and shakes in, shakes out, whatever. But if this video helped you guys out with wanting to do shakes or whatever in your videos, this is basically like the easiest way that I kind of like put together. So yeah, hopefully you guys can start using some more shakes in your like car edits or whatever footage you want to use them for. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.